Kurt Busch is one of the most underrated drivers with one of the most odd careers in NASCAR history. Busch began his career in the Cup Series as a hot-headed young gun, a polarizing figure that was a threat to win each week. And in 2004, the polarizing and, frankly at the time, unpopular driver won the inaugural chase for the next L Cup. It looked as though the young Bush was an unstoppable force in the sport that was sure to win more championships. And that's where the downward spiral began. While the beginning of the 2005 season started similar to how the 2004 season as a whole went, there was a growing storm underneath. As the season went on, there was a vacancy to be filled. The number two Blue Deuce, driven for the final time in 2005 by Rusty Wallace. Bush shockingly jumped into the ride, and in an even more puzzling move, he did so without notifying his current employer at the time, Jack Roush. So, he was already treading on some mighty thin ice. That ice shattered with his arrest before the season's second-to-last race at Phoenix for reckless driving, of all things. The arrest was it for Roush. Bush was suspended by Roush for the remainder of the 2005 campaign. But with a fresh new start and a fresh new page at Penske, Bush looked to get back on track. But while the results were generally good, it was clear that something was definitely wrong for Bush. As they're looking at the damage to Stewart's car, Kurt comes up to offer his opinion. And yeah. guess what they got in the two car? Park for the day. Meet me at the uh, Oval Office. Kurt's not very happy right now. Kurt Busch's relationship with Roger Penske strained just like his relationship with Jack Roush had. And once again, it took just about the worst possible PR move for Bush to be released from his ride. That just, that just makes me feel a lot better, doctor. Can you get this motherfucker out of my face? You're not out of it yet. With Bush being released so late in the year, it meant that all the competitive rides were booked for the 2012 season. Bush would have to run this season in the worst ride of his career, the number 51 Phoenix Racing Chevrolet. The season was a statistical low point for Bush, and off track altercations didn't improve it either. today behind the Gibbs guys we're, we're getting there so it's, it's good and it was great to have Kyle on the pit box checking everything out today. Kurt Busch, Did it impact you Cup how you race Justin? Did the fact that you're on probation after that you said he kept he was racing you? It refrains me from not beating the out of you right now because you asked me stupid questions. They want you to drop part of the back. I am in there! I am in there! Holy This was Bush's low point in his career, and in 2013 it seemed that it was only going to continue as he had another 25th place level team that he was driving for, Furniture Row Racing. But instead of having problems, instead of struggling, he actually scored a top 10 points finish, and in 2014 he would join SHR. 
This started a string of six straight seasons where he would win at least once per year. And in his stay with SHR was where Bush had what would so far be his final setback in his career. In the time leading up to the 2015 season, Bush had been accused by his ex-girlfriend, Patricia Driscoll, of domestic violence. NASCAR swiftly suspended Bush indefinitely before any other evidence or news had come out about the story. When Bush had not been found guilty, NASCAR then reinstated him. And since, Bush has made the playoffs every year that he drove for SHR from 2014 to 2018. And with him going to Ganassi in 2019, he became the premier driver of a team again. All of the journey of his career led up to this moment. What does Jones do here if these two get together? Coming out of turn four, Kurt Busch with the advantage. Kyle Busch slides. Kurt Busch will win. What a finish. The win was an overwhelming fan favorite, a stark contrast from his early career successes. With the win, it seems that his career has come full circle. So to you, I ask, what do you think of Kurt Busch's turnaround in his career? Let me know down in the comments below and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, have a good one.